Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad. Here I am on Oxford Street, uh, one of the supposedly busiest streets in the world during the major lockdown in the UK. And as you can see, it's quite empty. All the stores are closed. It's just a little bit of uh, traffic. People out and about walking and uh, some rickshaws as well blasting out their music. This is it, this is Oxford Street. This is the center of the worship of material goods. And these are the temples dedicated to the acquisition of the glitz and glamour of this worldly life. You can hear someone behind me doing some kind of preaching. We're talking about Jesus, so let's go and see what he's got to say. The Bible says the will of God is that none of us will be perished. None of us will be lost. Hallelujah. None of us will be destroyed. But we are all be saved. Hallelujah. And that's why Jesus Christ came. He came to save that which was lost. Ladies and gentlemen, mankind was lost. Hallelujah. Mankind was lost. And that's why Jesus Christ to redeem mankind from the power of the devil. Hallelujah. The devil received authority from men. Once not quite sure who he's preaching to because there's Hallelujah. nobody around. Jesus came to redeem that which was lost. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ came and by his I guess he's learned some kind of style of preaching that he's trying to implement here. This is it, everybody. This is central London coming up to 2021. 30th of December. Wonder how long this will all last. The center of money laundering, despotism, wealth grabbing. This is where it is. Oh, someone's name coming up on these flashing lights. It was called Anis Ali. Look at that, right in the middle of Oxford Circus, the name of Ali appears. And these are the rickshaws that run around this area, picking people up. They're not going to have many customers at the moment. And Oxford Circus tube station is closed. So I will be trying to find another way of getting home. This is Regent Street. Again, all the stores are closed at what is supposed to be their busiest time. And just a few people around like me with their cameras. Pretty much empty. At least they have uh, angels this year there was yet one year where they were just advertising a soft drink which again epitomized to me what has happened to this culture <laughs> all of this has been built on borrowed money and borrowed time but particularly borrowed money this is something I want people to know who watch this. This wealth that you see is built, is built on debt. If people have a house or a car. It's mainly because they've borrowed thousands of pounds. And now the crunch is going to come. 
and they're not going to be able to pay it back. This is how people get enticed into aspiring for a certain lifestyle. This is where it all happens. Advertising. Advertising and encouraging us to aspire. To a life that is built on debt. I just uh, can't resist making people wait for me to cross the road, especially if they've got a big flash car. So, allow this system to influence your mood, your mind, your fears, your hopes. Don't allow this system to convince you that this is what is real and this is what life is all about. We have a whole other way of thinking, a whole other way of being and we are connected to the ultimate divine light that is the ultimate power to which we are going to return after all this is going to disappear all this will be destroyed and come to an end hold on to that peace within your heart don't let all of this fool you everybody from around the world who might be watching this don't be fooled by this illusion of London, of UK, of seeming wealth. Don't be fooled by it, please. You as a human being have much greater worth than all of this. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad.